Hello YouTube, so I haven't been uh, uploading a video for a while, I've been quite busy at work and everything, but um, I thought I'd do a new video for a new tool I purchased recently, which is the um, Steel Axe um, Wood Splitting Pro, which is the AX28CS. Um, just giving it a, a quick go off camera, just to see what it could handle. Um, and it seems like it can handle quite a lot actually, so um, I will be doing a quick review just to show you kind of what kind of weight and what kind of um, handling capacity it's got. It's um, I had a look up before I came, so it's a 4.8 pound head, which is about two and a bit kilograms. It feels a lot heavier, it really does. I mean, I looked at some of the splitting malls, which were five, six, seven, eight pounds, thinking I'd go for them, but judging by the weight of this, I mean, they would just be ridiculous. They'd be like, you could probably get a few shots out of it for really tough wood, but it wouldn't be good for ongoing splitting. So it's probably the perfect weight. Um, you can't really tell um, until you pick it up, the actual realistic weight. I mean, it feels a lot heavier, it really does. I suppose in the hand there, it won't be, but obviously you've got the, you've got the handle as well. And obviously most of the time when you're picking it up, you're picking it up from the handle end, so it does feel quite heavy. I mean, I can't, I can't lift that at all. So if I, if I try from this end here, if you watch this, right, I can't even get that off. So the amount of weight going through that is Pretty substantive, substantial, sorry. Um, as you can see from the top, the it's got a very, very wedge shape, which is designed perfectly for splitting. And we've got another axe I'll show you shortly, which is a very old, must be like 80 years old. It looks great, but, um, and does split most things, but I think the struggle with these, these logs here, um, it has got apparently a five point uh, attachment for the head. I'm not sure where the five points are, um, but it's got two and a half times the strength of a normal axe head where you'd put, um, a nail or a wedge in the top. Um, it does say five points, so I'm not quite sure where the five points are. Obviously this is, this is steel to protect the axe head. Uh, and then we have a hickory handle, which is an American wood that is aimed to reduce um, vibrations as you strike. So I'll give it a go and show you what I think. Absolutely no problem at all. These are pretty, probably about less than a year old. I picked these up, but they're pretty heavy, pretty solid. Yeah, not a problem. No effort at all. Yeah. Yeah, not a problem at all. Could handle a lot more, I think. I mean, I think with the splitting malls, you're getting something which is going to replace a wedge, something this big or if not bigger, but it's so heavy. I mean, I've got a sledgehammer and a wedge which seems to do the trick, with like a little star wedge. But for actual chopping, I don't think you want anything much heavier than this because you're going to tire out pretty quickly. So you want something you can use. So yeah, I mean, I've done only two, two bits of wood, but definitely recommend that. It's, um, I think it's about 80 pounds. What I'll do is I'm, I'll post a few extra photos of where I got it from, how much it cost, and a few more of the stats of the, the axe. I can't necessarily remember everything off the top of my head at the moment, um, just so you can see. But yeah, it's great. I'll do a few more chops. Um, but yeah, at the moment, definitely recommend. I can't see any weaknesses at all. Can't see, see what's much what you'd want much more from an axe, really. It's quite a short handled axe. If I show you another one I've got in comparison. So this is my other axe. It's obviously must be a good 80 years old. Like I love the look of it. My dad got this for his dad, so my granddad. And then he passed it down to my dad. My dad used it, give it to me, I'll give it to my son. So it's got a lot of um, lot of, some, lot of uh, special memories, this one. Very sentimental and I love the look of it. But I fancied having like my own axe that I kind of bring into the family that I pass on. So I wanted to buy something professional that would last. So it's a very different axe. You see the size of that there. The wedge, wedge shape. 
compared to this, but this gets for most things. I'll show you a comparison now. Right, so I'm going to give it a real test here. It's a pretty big log with the old, old axe. Longer handle this one. So that did all right, it splits it. I think it would get through it actually, thinking about it. Yeah, that did pretty well. It's hard to get a, a neutral test. I mean, that does fly through a lot quicker. It's very sh a bit shorter, as you can see. I mean, equally, that's a pretty heavy head. I can't lift that one either. But I can imagine using this for longer, to be honest. But yeah, I've got, a, I've got a room for my life, in my life for both of these. Yeah, with the I mean, obviously you can't make a direct comparison, but this seems to get through on one strike. It's a little bit narrower there, so I'm um, not necessarily going to get through it on, on one strike. Need two. I mean, it's, there's no effort. I'm thinking about it. I can't really feel any vibrations through the handle. So that's going to make a big difference when... Um, Chop in for an hour or so. Use this one. It's a very cheap handle. This one. Yeah, I'll do that. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So one last bit I'll show you. There's last bits of wood were fairly dense, fairly heavy, but not manageable. But obviously these larger pieces. You see my hand here. You see how heavy that is and how big that is. So normally I'd go straight for a wedge on that one and I think my other axe probably could nip the sides off. It'd get stuck. It's very hard to pull the axe out. And what I found with this new one, it's actually quite easy to pull out because it's a wedge shape. And sometimes that's the most exhausting part is pulling the axe out and having to go again and get stuck again. But this one seems to chop easier, pulls out easier, is lighter, less vibration, shorter. I think you can go for longer. So it really is, you know, it's exactly what it's made for. It's, made for splitting logs. So you look at the size of that. So I will pop this somewhere so you can see how I'll nip that apart. Right. Right. Size off. This is when obviously this protector comes in handy. It comes out really easily. Last one, whack in the middle. Got a small off burner, so one more. Done. So there you go. I'll put the information up on screen after the shot. So you, uh, where you can get it from, how much it costs, and some of the stats. But um, nice to have an axe that means something that can stay in your family. And you can pass down so it's got longevity and I think that's why I bought this mainly because my dad's passed an axe down to me I'd like to get one that I bought and I'll pass down to my son just a, a thing I'd like to do really so there you go you have the steel wood splitter pro the uh, AX 28 CS um, I'll definitely recommend this if you want an axe just for chopping wood it's got a uh, hickory handle five piece head attachment which is two and a half times stronger than a traditional head axe connection C60 steel and at 5.5 pounds, not the 4.5 pounds I initially said. 
Uh, I think it's the perfect weight for sustained log chopping. The hickory handle I definitely recommend. Over the course of half an hour, you're really going to feel the difference there. If you're looking for an axe for splitting wood, I would definitely recommend this one.